Sure, Sharon, it's definitely an important thing to do. It's a somber occasion, yes, but let me read the fine print that's on the sign here at Holocaust Museum Houston. A living testimonial to those who died, a place to honor those who survived, and a source of education for present and future generations. To me, that means learning from history will hopefully prevent such an atrocity from ever happening again. We can only hope it never does. But this is also a place you can come and pay your respects to the millions of people who died in the Holocaust. The museum is actually making it easier for some folks to do that all weekend long. Today, the museum is marking the final day of the Blue Star Museum program. Every weekend from Memorial Day to Labor Day, active duty military members could get into the museum for free along with their families, and that includes National Guard members and reservists. Kids 18 years old and younger get in free every day, believe it or not, so everyone's invited to come visit the fourth largest Holocaust museum in the country. There are four permanent galleries inside and two changing exhibits. The goal of it all is to educate students and the public about the dangers of prejudice and hatred in society. Now, it's worth pointing out that this museum is normally closed on Monday. They've made an exception today, Labor Day, the holiday that honors the American working man and women. Every one of us, we're happy to be able to come here today, and some of us for free if you're in the military. Now, we also want to point out that there are other uh, venues, other museums, in fact, that are giving free admission and are offering events here on Labor Day. In fact, coming up in our 8 o'clock hour, I'll be live from the Lone Star Flight Museum to let you know about an event that's going on there. I really like planes. I hope I won't be too giddy excited to be over there, but we'll check it out coming up here at 8. Reporting live from Holocaust Museum Houston, Seth Kovar, CW39 Houston.